Did Michael Jackson fake his death? For years after Michael Jackson's death, rumors circulated that he was still alive. These were just rumors until recently, when documents were released that allege Michael had a body double buried in his place. For a high volume performer like Michael, having body doubles was normal, but he had one that over three years of plastic surgery, choreography, and acting classes, he was able to pass as a real-life Michael. Enter Dmitri Dragachescu, Michael's number one body double, who just so happened to be diagnosed with a terminal illness. The rumor states that Michael paid a handsome reward to the family to allow this ruse to happen. Is the king of pop still alive? What do you think? Juicy J says rap is dying. According to the veteran Memphis rapper, the industry's numbers from composers to artists to engineers are seeing a 40% decline in music production and consumption. We see this while softer music like Taylor Swift, K-pop and country are seeing consistent growth. It's been known for a while now that softer, less dominant people are easier to control. They've manipulated our environment, food, and anything else they can to get to the point now that an average young male has 30% of the testosterone levels than his grandfather did at the same age. Is it intentional? Are the overlords grinding down any outspoken or rebellious sources of music and replacing them with spin-offs of The Little Mermaid? You be the judge. Let us know in the comments. Project Bluebeam could very well be at our doorstep. In Project Bluebeam, through the use of advanced and publicly hidden technology, a series of staged alien invasions will take place. In the wake of this madness, a false messiah will arise in each country, claiming to possess the means to stop this invasion and protect the people. Under the protection of the messiahs, the people will easily be brought together under a new religion, as the Antichrist, as written in the Book of Apocalypse, and more importantly, a single, solitary government the New World Order. The current uptick and in sightings and media interest revolving around UFOs is just a fine-tuning of this distractive technology. And with the rapid advancement of artificial intelligence, the ability to create the illusion and so panic are becoming child's play for the powers at be. The question is, when this time comes, will you make the mistake of looking to the sky? Is Bluebeam real? You be the judge. Let us know in the comments was Ye and his Yeezy line, a sacrificial lamb and red herring for its dark and obscured history as a powerful fashion house for Nazi Germany. Adidas founders, Adolf and Rudi Dassler, launched the shoe company, Jeda, in the 1920s, then joined the Nazi party in 1933, the same year a young Hitler, the eccentric Disney connoisseur, ascended to chancellor. However, in their accounting of their development on their corporate site, they lists 1919 to 1949 as only the start of our story. They would be more accurate to recount it as getting the best price for their souls. Adolf and Rudy openly praised the Nazi economic policy, admiring its effectiveness for achieving the fastest recovery from the depression of any industrialized company. Just like many elites, power consumed the brothers, and all they wanted was more. The brothers best known at the time for outfitting Jesse Owens in 1936 would sell footwear to American soldiers while converting factories to make anti-tank munitions, shaping souls, and reaping souls. When these two split in 1949, Adidas and Puma was formed. Adidas to this day uses many Illuminati and satanic aesthetics in their shoes, such as the ST line. The Three Stripes Triangle is an homage to the three-angled Illuminati triangle. Did Keefe D get arrested for Tupac's murder because of Vlad TV? For years, Vlad has made a name for himself interviewing rappers and notable figures in the hip-hop community with the intent of asking incriminating questions. There have been several occasions where rappers have been indicted, and the feds have used interviews from his YouTube page as evidence in the case. Just recently, Keefe D spilled the beans about Tupac's murder on his platform and months later was arrested and facing life in prison. Did Keefe D incriminate himself, or has Vlad been working for the feds as the head of the hip-hop police for all these years? You be the judge. Let us know in the comments.